you feel alone in the world. You, you really feel that nothing is, is, is real. You lose your faith. I have injuries that you can't see. You don't know what a person feels inside. At the Grotto of Our Lady in Lourdes, France, servicemen and women from across the world are standing and praying, praying for healing and for peace. No other population in the U.S. needs healing, peace, reconciliation than our military wounded, ill and injured, our military that have seen combat. For the locals who live here in the town of Lourdes in the south of France, for one weekend every May, if they were thinking of having a sleep in, they can think again. The sound of trumpets and drums from army marching bands fills the streets from 7 a.m. This is the annual international military pilgrimage, which traces its roots back to December of 1944, when representatives from militaries across the globe gathered here to celebrate Mass at the Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary. Then, after World War II came to an end, French soldiers and their chaplains invited German soldiers and their chaplains to gather here to pray. It originated as an attempt to reconcile the nations of Europe that had been at war to allow them to uh, move on to the next stage of their relationship. And actually, uh, at the first uh, military pilgrimage to, to Lourdes, the Germans were afraid to come into the town because they didn't know what the reaction might be. And so, that really began the whole tradition of, of healing and reconciliation. Archbishop Timothy Borolio is the Archbishop for the Military Services in the USA and is here with a group of pilgrims. If you work with the military as I've done for the last 14 years, you'll find that the first group that does not want to be at war is the military because they know what it costs. And that cost for many who have served in battle is a high price, as they are often left with physical wounds, but also deeper emotional and spiritual wounds. Mom is very proud of me for, you know, just taking the step to leave the house. You know, not only the house, the country, because I'm in a different country now. I'm just looking for that healing. Judith Benjamin is a retired Florida Army National Guard. People come to Lourdes for so many different reasons, and People often say that they're coming here looking for something in Lourdes. They're searching, seeking peace, healing, forgiveness. What is it, Judy, that you're here looking for? All of the above. Healing. I suffer from uh, depression and anxiety. I also have PTSD. So healing, prayer, try to meet more people to get out more often. Tasks that may seem simple to you and me, leaving the house, getting on a plane, being in crowds. For Judith, this has been a brave step forward in her life. I'm learning how to adjust and adapt. and Just take one day at a time. Judith is part of a group of 30 former US servicemen and women whose trips here have been sponsored by the Knights of Columbus as part of their Warriors to Lourdes pilgrimage. Charles Galina is a retired colonel with the US Marines and is leading this pilgrimage. What is the purpose of the Warriors to Lourdes pilgrimage? Uh, Lourdes is known throughout the church, the Shrine of Our Lady of Lourdes is known throughout the church as the place of healing. No other population in the US needs healing, peace, reconciliation than our military wounded, ill and injured, our military that have seen combat, the physical wounds of war are visible. The emotional wounds of war are not so much. Moral injury is totally hidden. It is the wounds to the soul. It's the guilt, the shame of, of 
what takes place in combat. So how do we heal that? We heal that through prayer, the sacraments, and through ritual. The servicemen and women who have come here are looking to heal the physical and spiritual wounds of war, and also the wounds from some of life's other unimaginable tragedies. It's hard to share my story because um, I get emotional, yeah. but, um, but when, when, when people, uh, especially soldiers, experience tragedy that's very, very significant, you, you kind of, um, you, lose, you lose your faith. Fred Hink is a staff sergeant at the U.S. Army Reserve. For him and his wife, Carly, being here is a chance for them to try and reconnect with their faith after they lost trust in God. For me, I lost my son. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I didn't realize that was the... Yeah. So for, for me, um, it was a, a loss of a, someone close um, that no one should have to go through. And what was your son's name? Uh, Jonathan. Jonathan. Yeah. Jonathan was just 22 when he passed away from a fentanyl overdose and had left his parents feeling completely lost. You need to, you need to toughen up or, or get over or shake it off. P people are there for a while and then they think, well, now it's about time you should be moving on and getting on with your life. They don't they have yeah, an experience that they but can't. It's a the PTSD and the things that you talk about with soldiers, um, it's so significant and there's such a tragic event, you go into a, you really do go into sort of a state of shock. And to end the weekend, a beautiful candlelit procession to the shrine of Our Lady, each flickering light representing someone's hurt, someone's pain, something that only they really know. This is your first time to somewhere like Lourdes? It's amazing. It's, it's truly amazing. And it's, um, I feel like it's a blessing, uh, truly a blessing. Peace, tranquility, prayer. Uh, they said the rosary over and over and over, and it kind of like bonded to my heart and said, wow, Judy, this is awesome. I lost, I don't know, that sense of pain. I had pain, internal pain, and I was like, wow, I feel good. I feel like a different person, and when I came out, The great healing for me is to be able to bring the wounded, heal, the injured, their families to Lord. And so this pilgrimage, this journey, comes to an end for these former servicemen and women here in Lourdes. But really, it is hoped that this will be the beginning of a new journey, a journey within them. The road ahead for many of them will be long, but it is hoped that their time here in Lourdes will leave them with a renewed sense of faith and hope that healing is possible. In Lourdes, France, Colin Flynn for EWTN News In Depth.